Hi, my name is Deems and welcome to Fallout 4 Frost. In the last one then, we may have bitten off a little more than we can chew. And as you can see, we are slowly but surely dying from an infection, as well as trying to kill multiple feral ghouls after venturing into College Square and College Square Station. But luckily, we managed to turn into a bit of a samurai with this sword we've got, and that has managed to get us through just about, but... I don't know how much longer we've got left in us and we've still got a lot of the station to clear out so first priority then is to try and heal ourselves as much as we can without dying because we are losing health at a rapid rate luckily we did manage to clear this area out in the last one then but there's definitely still a lot of ghouls around here now i'm gonna run back this way we may not be able to be as sneaky anymore like i said because i don't think time is on our side right now now, if I remember, we should be going back out this way, and this should take us back into the station itself. I am going to pop a stim pack. I really don't want to be wasting these beauties, but I honestly don't think we've got a choice right now. Now, there is a door here that goes into the subway line as well, and we've got a door we can unlock here with first aid. Could that maybe be something that saves us from an infection? I highly doubt it. Please be something useful. Just another bandage, unfortunately. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not ideal. Now, of course, we never actually went down this left-hand side here. Probably should get a rifle out just in case. We're definitely not going to be alone down here. Yeah, as to be... I didn't reload. Well, that is a great start. You know what? Like I said, I am a samurai. Oh no. Okay. That has actually worked somehow. Here comes another one. I'm ready for you. This strat is actually unbelievable. Thank God, and it doesn't cost me any bullets. But we are still dying. Now, I honestly think. Oh my God. Okay, wait a second. I honestly think we maybe should get home before it's too late. I don't know if this is why. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Right. Um, Are we safe? Maybe have a quick look around for loot, potentially. This place looks pretty cool. I don't really need a protection right now. I need a doctor. There's some more in there I can see. What about this left-hand side? Hello? Oh, God. Okay, I'm ready for you. Let's go. <laughs> College Square Station Key. Nice. I don't really know what that is going to be useful for as we are in the station, but we will see. Some Psycho as well. Not the most useful thing in the world right now. We're pretty OP when it comes to melee anyway. Well, I guess this answers the question on what the key's for. But where does it take me? In a circle, apparently. Great. Oh, God. We are dying literally second by second right now. I'm going to have to waste another stim pack. I just need to clear out this area before we go back. It'll be such a waste of time otherwise. Come on, Feral Ghoul. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, maybe that is it. Another dead Federation soldier with a journal. Bit a Barrow's journal. The snow's melting, good news for once, but the nuclear springs bring new worries. We've been seeing things on the surface, dead things, double watches until we figure this out. We captured one. I wasn't exaggerating. It looks dead. Skin's peeled off. Shambles around like a zombie from a horror flick. Nate took an arm off and it didn't even flinch. And wants to try communicating, but that thing's long gone. The shambler's come again. Too many to fight off. Had enough to leave the station. And caught her foot on some rebar. Didn't let Nate see, then take her. Nate blames himself for her death, but past is the past. We cannot change what has happened. Only stop from it happening again. We need to make our way to Patriot's place. Warn them. 
Well, it doesn't look like they made it, unfortunately. Now, are we back here? We actually have just bloody ran in a circle, haven't we? Well, it looks like we've cleared it out anyway. Maybe we should get back home ASAP. We also have so much radiation right now. Do we actually have any Radex left? It doesn't look like it. You've got to be kidding me. God, this is going to be an expensive trip to the doctor, but yeah, let's get back home. Well, try to anyway. Look at all the dead bodies. How the hell did we manage to do this? I'm going to take some supplies just to hopefully help us out. Just the littlest bit here. All the food we have right now ideally needs to be cooked, so... It's not great. We could maybe take some buff out if we're really struggling. That does help us with HP and put our endurance up for a short while. Also, buff tats will be absolutely amazing. So maybe that is going to be the last resort. You know what? Screw it. Let's just run back. Even though I have a feeling we might have a nasty surprise waiting for us on the other side of this door. Now, of course, we come outside to a radiation storm. And we are slowly dying. I don't know if we're going to make it back. I'll be completely honest. I think it's time to pop a buff out. And try and sneak past all the ghouls that we know are chilling around this area. As you can see over there. We also have Cambridge Police Station that I really wanted to try out. But probably not wise right now. I don't even think we should waste time. I am just going to bloody run and hope for the best. Now, I can't remember exactly what we found on this journey here, but I'm hoping the way is clear. Oh, God, I can hear explosions and feral ghouls. Oh, I can see many feral ghouls. Oh, we've just... What? Memory? Oh, we are really and truly insane right now. I'm just going to keep running. This is like a horror game. Oh my God, we're being absolutely hunted down as well. Oh, we might die. We might. Oh God, this is, this is not good. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Oh no. Why are we being chased? Fire. I don't even know. I have no words. I'm panicking so much right now. Oh, no. We're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. Okay. I'm just going to keep running. We, are, we actually look at the health to radiation we have right now. Right. We need to seriously sort this out. Okay. Now, I honestly think we might be screwed here. Ideally, the only way we're somehow going to be able to survive this. Oh, God. Can we even jump? Okay, fine. We need to get shelter somewhere. Can we go in this building here? Nope. We found the crater, which someone did let me know about, actually, in one of the last videos. Oh, no survivors. Trust me, you don't want any of this right now. If I can just get inside somehow alive. Oh no, and the infection spreads somehow. This is absolutely ridiculous. Right, I'm really close to Bunker Hill. I can somehow just get inside. And maybe rest so we're not taking severe radiation damage we actually might have survived the radiation storm well i say that look at the bloody radiation okay let's try and get back home also apparently i may or may not have gone to the wrong ship so yeah i'm a bloody idiot we'll check that out another time when you know i'm not on the verge of death my infection spreads what a surprise I think we should be all right as long as we can keep healing, which we can. But 
If we get any more rads, then yeah, that may be the end of this journey. Oh my god. We are so close to death, but we're also so close to home. I can almost smell the downtown. I can smell the dead rad roaches everywhere. Should just be up to our right. Okay. Please, doctor, you need to save me. Right, we need to run. We need to run now. First and foremost, cure me of the infection, and then we can worry about the fact I'm a feral ghoul right now later. Doc, please, where are you? Oh, she's here. Yeah. Hi. You'll always be welcome here. Yeah, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, God, I'm nearly dying as it stands. Catch me up, Doc. <laughs> oh, dear. Go over your uh -huh. Right, cure health first and foremost. Two bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Mm. Gonna need a brace for the fractures, apply some cream for the burns, a few sets of stitches. I think I just need a full on bloody it. operation, to be honest. <laughs> and that's that. Anything else bothering you? Yeah. All this radiation. I think I soaked up some rads out there. Blood pulling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. <laughs> Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Apart from you... Dancing on me right now. That was it? Very well then. Think I'm all good. Are we alive? We're alive. How the hell did we survive that? I wasted so many drugs trying to make that trip home, but at least we made it. Right. Hopefully, huh? we can do a few things now we're back. Can we talk to the Federation yeah. officer and let him know we've cleared that place out? Hey. Good to see you're still alive, soldier. I actually found some technical documents, did I? I can't remember that, but here you go. I found some technical documents for you. Good. We'll need those eventually. And mission. Reporting for duty. Speak. Show bitter Abro's journal. Wasn't easy, but I found some. Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah, let's see them. Yep, that's it. This sacrifice won't go in vain. Turns out, our initial beliefs are correct. All mutants must die. We are not taking any prisoners. Mark Hand's words. Wise words. Here's your reward. You deserve some rest. Come back to You're me. You're telling me I bloody do deserve Officer. some rest. You are now a medium MRE, Federation Officer Fatigue's added. Okay, we are really, really moving up the ranks. Let's see what else he has to say. Excuse me. Officer. Any more orders, Captain? What are your orders, Captain? No orders. Kill everything. What? You know, I know it. Everybody knows. What the hell? Soon enough, some horrendous abominations attack Revere Station. They're not leaving. So, they must be eradicated. If they didn't come from South Boston, the North is our next lead. Get to Revere Beach, scout the area, and follow their trails until you find their HQ. Once you find them, report to me, and keep your distance from Malden and the airport. Understood? Where do you want me to start? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? I guess I wasn't clear enough. Repeat in your head. North from Boston Airport. Watch the abominations at Revere Beach Station. Follow their trails. Find their HQ. Get evidence. Okay, got it. Is that clear? Sure thing. Any advice on what I should investigate? Have any advice on what I should investigate? When you find their HQ, make sure you scouted the whole area and got your hands on some evidence for what they're really up to. Once that is done, We'll be able to know where to deliver them. The consequences of messing up with the Great Metro Federation. Sure, I guess. I mean, you've turned a little bit crazy on me there, but you're going to pay me, whatever. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Dismissed. Right. Interesting. 
He decided to pop a bunch of drugs in front of me and tell me to kill everyone. So I have been informed once again by you guys that I can get my sanity fix from the doctor in here. And I know it is expensive as I have looked into it before. But as someone who has minus 200 sanity, is it even worth it? But then again, we did just start hallucinating feral ghouls that were invisible and random people from our past and God knows what else. So maybe I should start investing into it. Now, in terms of the Federation officer fatigues then, 15 armor, 25 rad resistance. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't think armor is a massive thing in this game. We still got a load of combat armor just lying around we've not used. So maybe we should sell this thing. Now, in terms of anything else we have to sell, don't know necessarily. I think maybe we should sell something like a Nuka Cola. It's not that useful to us right now. We also have been given this MRE medium pack, which we should definitely open. Completely forgot about that, even though it was literally two seconds ago. Let's sell these cigar boxes as well, and the empty buff out, the gears, the gold watch, the nuclear material, and the springs that we're not going to use. Of course, as per usual, keep every single bit of ammo. We're always going to need it. Now, I have just noticed Daisy has now shown up here. Of course, we did help her previously. Excuse me. Okay, actually I was looking for you. I wasn't, but let's just see what happens. Actually, I was looking for you. Time to hit the road. Yes, what? Wait, what? It's not happening. Go on, shoot. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Excuse me. So she actually can be a companion, which is pretty awesome. But apart from that, you can buy her a drink and trade with her. Why would you want that? She's got an awful attitude, by the way. But she doesn't look like she has anything useful. I mean, a military gas mask would be good, of course, but we do already have one. Now, let's actually see what we managed to get out of this medium pack. So, loads of different food by the looks of it. Boiled water. Nice. Rum. Glowing mushrooms. Could have done with them about two minutes ago. Table knife for some reason. Tablespoon. Plate. Forks. Why am I just getting a whole cutlery set right now? Imagine if there actually was a mechanic or a mod in Fallout where you had to eat food off a plate with a knife and a fork. I don't know if that would be cool or super frustrating. Probably the latter. I definitely will be taking some boiled water. It's going to give us some more radiation, but hey, not as much as we had before. And some cooked food as well. Nice. Now, I think we decide what we should do next. We probably should go get some sleep, rest up, get our health back, and yeah, maybe go on another adventure and see what we can do. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, you were really lucky that I couldn't recruit you because the two dudes that we took out previously, um, they may be just legs and arms at this point. They kind of got eaten by feral ghouls, so I've always got both of your backs. to remember that. But anyway, let's sleep for eight hours, even though it is 7 a.m. We stayed up through the night running through the streets. And we are well rested and in pretty decent nick right now. Still probably should prioritize finding a fusion core. And some of you guys have given me some great suggestions, so I probably should take a look at them. But in terms of weapons then, how are things looking? We have one 5mm round right now, so probably should store this gun away for the time being. We do have one shotgun shell, 0.762s annoyingly. Still do have 24 308 ammo, which is okay, I guess. But one thing we did pick up, and I do remember this, 28 45 70 rounds, so we can get our night vision lever action rifle back out to play. So just to double down on the point you guys are making about paying for the Sanity Doctor and the fact that I'm already insane, it costs $250 to restore 5 Sanity and I am currently minus 200. So I'm no mathematician, but that is a bloody lot of money. So I think we're just screwed and we're going to have to save the No Sanity playthrough for another time. Now, I somewhat feel bad for the last episode because I promised some pirates, some pirate ships, 
we've got to one that unfortunately we cannot actually access right now but i may have got some information thanks to the comments once again forming me there's another set of pirate ships that i also remember from the base game we should probably check out as that's what the law from the school was actually referring to so if i go over to the map then I've already put a marker. I believe we need to be going in this direction over here. There already is another type of boat over there that I do believe I know what that is, but we can maybe check that out as well. Let's see what happens. Now, I am just making my way towards that location. But I really want to maybe check out this place. Probably not in today's episode, but definitely another one. And... How bloody cute is that? Irradiated dogs just rolling around in the irradiated, dusty ground. Oh, it's sad that we're probably going to have to kill them, isn't it? But anyway, let's march on. Now, of course, the school is down that way. And actually, someone did remind me there was something we missed in there, which is just typical of me. So let's go pick that up first of all. Now, I'm pretty certain this place is all good and clear we had a massive fight in here that we managed to survive surprisingly so let's go find the magazine that i got told about so apparently this magazine is on the very top floor so let's make our way round hopefully no shenanigans happens so apparently it is in the computer lab and i also apparently missed ammunition boxes And cell keys, apparently. I am actually blind, aren't I? Before we do go any further, can we unlock what's in here? Are these just empty cells? We did go in one. I do remember that. Can we go in this one as well? Just an empty piss bucket. Nice. And we do actually have one more back here. That has... Nothing in it again. Okay, brilliant. Now, if I am to look for a computer place, this looks like a computer place to me. And surprisingly or not, you guys are awesome, just like this magazine. And now, right away, heals 5% radiation damage. Thank you so much. The weather seems pretty fine still. It is rainy now, but as long as there's no radiation... You're not going to hear any complaints from me. Now, we want to be headed up into this direction and cross this little narrow bridge here and make our way down to these ships and hopefully we can find this gang that they were talking about. Now, I can actually see some craziness going on right now. Those guys decided just to kill a dog apparently hmm do i john wick them or do we preserve ammo now of course we can't use vats to shoot people but we can identify and these are the people we've heard so much about these themis or themis cultists now it looks to me from what i can see these guys are ghouls not feral but Probably not going to be the most friendliest of characters. Now, I'm going to try, like I say, to sneak past. But if they do come too close, well, looks like we've got a battle on our hands again. Now, I have just come across a lot of dead bodies. Oh, God. Okay, well, these cultists clearly run this area, so... We might have to get involved sooner than I think. If I get this action lever rifle out, we do actually have a bit of advantage because we have the night scope. What is that sitting over there, by the way? That looks absolutely terrifying. I think I'm just going to mind my own business for the time being. Try and get to the bloody pirate ships. Now, what do we have here? feral ghouls our new best friend apparently yeah we're not going to be going in there anytime soon either 
Unless you guys let me know there's something super useful, then we might have to. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that in the distance, but that is a half-sunken ship. That is a lot of bloody boats, and that is where we're going. Whoa, trying to get to. There's a little shack here we can maybe loot on the way. Nice power armor stand. I don't suppose any of you guys anywhere have a fusion core for me, do you? It would be typical now we've made it all this way out here with a suit of power armor, but I also really wouldn't complain. What is that? Some more cultist, I'd imagine. Now, can we make our way round there without interacting with them? I'm assuming not, right? Oh, there's also some crabs, but but they're not the worst thing in the world. They're pretty cute, actually. Now, I feel like we should sneak down here to avoid the trouble. Oh, God, I can hear... The crabs, are they going to attack me after I just complimented them? Surely not. I'm going to slowly make my way around this bridge here. Hoping we don't get spotted. We've managed to find the pier. I feel like I'm going to have to kill some crabs here, aren't I? Ouch. One bit me, apparently. You get some crab meat, though, which is good. This one just chilling. Or maybe not. Nope. Not chilling anymore, apparently. Oh, God, we missed. Wow, I really suck at this game sometimes. Now, we do have this little beat shack here as well. Stupid crabs. Anything in here? Chemistry station. And a steamer trunk with quite some useful things. Well, I say useful, only to sell, really. And a bathroom scale that we didn't manage to blow up on, apparently. Thank God. Now, it looks like we're going to have to make our way up onto the bridge. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we're doing this then. Look, I didn't want to have to fight you guys, but you're not going to give me a choice, are you? Okay, two of them's down. I don't know how many more there is going to be hanging around here. Okay, here we go. Oh, God, they are creepy as hell. Oh, God, my shooting's awful as well, apparently. No way you block that. Okay. Looks like we might have dealt with them. These guys look horrible. He does have a cocktail on him, and obviously he is wearing a hood. Another cocktail. Where is the other dude? He's all the way up here, apparently. And nothing else. They like to wear horrible masks, apparently, which is really unsettling. And another stupid crab. How many crabs are here? But then again, we are next to the pier, so what did I even expect? Now, we have a... No bomb. Okay. We do have another dead survivor here. I'll take the ammo. Recoil compensated automatic pipe rifle. I mean, looks cool, sounds cool, but just really isn't. We also got this diner here. Can we actually get inside? Oh. Looks like there may be a trap gun here. Can I not access it through the window? Are you serious? All right, so this thing is going to go off. We're being searched for. I'm hoping it's just a crab. Um. Yeah, I see you, gun. I see your tricksy trap. Can I... Okay. Oh, my God. That scared the bloody crap out of me. Stupid monkey. But anyway... Improvised scattered maximized laser rifle. Nice. Also some anti-venom bandage scissors as well. An advanced lock safe. Some cigars we can sell. Please be something useful. So some more damaged dollar bills and a gold plated flip lighter. 
More money for us, I guess. Let's have a look at this new weapon we picked up then. Actually, it's pretty good. Obviously, we don't have any fusion cells on us right now. So, pretty annoying we can't use it. But, definitely could use it in the future. But, we're not too far away from our location, actually. Oh, we have a small backpack, but we're not going to be needing that, actually. Can I not get up on this car you've got to be kidding me how do we get across here don't tell me i've got to walk all the way round. this is an absolute joke okay never mind hardcore parkour baby not as bad as i thought more cultists one is down Oh, God. Two is down. These guys don't seem to have weapons in forms of guns. So maybe we just melee combat them. Okay. Ouch. That guy actually got a hit on me. Fair play. They do seem to have a lot of grenades on them, though. So that's cool. Lot of grenades, apparently. Take a little right turn here. This weather, by the way, is absolutely terrible. But it might make it more useful for us to go a bit more stealthy. It's a shame we don't have a silenced weapon right now. Now, we are undetected still, which I would say is a good sign, right? Now, I think I might have just spotted something. Oh, God, please say that does not go anywhere near us. If that even breathes on us, we are screwed. Okay, we need to stay as far away from that assault tron, I think it was, as possible. We want to go down in this direction, Mr. Assaultron. Please leave us be. Thank God it is nighttime and we can sneak. Now, of course, the lighthouse is all the way over there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, all of that area over there and that boat is Far Harbor related. Let me know down in the comments. I think going to Far Harbor in Frost would be super cool, by the way. One of my favorite DLCs, I think. The game has made Lieutenant Gutsy. Nope absolutely not we are getting the hell out of here right now i'm not even entertaining getting involved with robots right now we're still being searched for so glad it is nighttime i can't explain uh, it looks like we may be undetected we're getting pretty close to some sunken ships Now, where is this gang that we heard so much about? I think I can see some people running around, so that may answer that question. Can we do this? I don't even know if we may a bit, a bit more off we can chew, but at least it'll be fun for you guys to watch me trying to do this, I guess. Right, what is the best way in here without getting detected? Can we go up here? These seagulls just scared the crap out of me. Are they even seagulls? They don't look like it, but they do sound like it. So, wreck of the liberty. And Mr. Silver Shroud is here, haunting our dreams, apparently. Now, like I said, it is pretty annoying that we do not have any silenced weapons right now. So, as soon as we open fire, it's going to be a long day. It does look like it is just a group of survivors that have taken over this place to call their own, but I have a feeling they might have a lot of juicy loot we could use. Now, we are being searched for. It's not great, but also we do have the range distance right now. God, that guy looks so creepy. Well, he did look so creepy. Guess we're doing this. Okay, one's just charging right ahead. I respect it, but you're also dumb. Okay, 
Um, crouching behind an open metal pipe wasn't the wisest idea. These guys are stupid. Right, let's reload. And see if these had anything useful on them. Now, we are undetected. There's definitely not only three. I can hear something beeping I don't like the sound of. Take the frag grenade, though. And the 10 millimeter rounds. Can we get in this door? Okay, early lost the bobby pin. Please be a lot of stuff. Men's hats, 45 rounds, and that's it. Oh, we have more stuff. Blair. First, we could take that. Open the fridge. I'll take some vodka. Ah, we are going to be carrying too much. I knew that would be the case. And another safe. I think what I'm going to do as we are a little bit thirsty and hungry. I suppose we could just take some water right now. And also take some food as well. Let's try and get in this safe. Yes. A blast mine. I'd definitely be taking that. An overdue book and some Radex. Nice. I just realized we're still carrying all this stupid ass stuff on us that we don't really need right now. That is what's weighing us down. Okay, is there anything else in here? Just some cloth in the thirst aid, which not really that useful. Oh my god. Well, we may have some trouble when it comes to fighting that thing. Is there anything else in these buildings that might help us fighting that assault on? Another safe. Nice. And an incendiary grenade. Cloud syringe. Yellow belly syringe. We found so many syringes. Maybe we should use a syringe gun after all, but... I've been selling a lot of those things. Right, let's press forward somehow. I'm absolutely terrified of that thing. Could we even kill it? I don't even know, to be honest with you. Is anything actually up top here? Just some more alcohol, which is to be expected. These are pirates, remember. Oh, it looks like one may have got a bit of a whiff on where we are. I can't tell if these guys have got guns or not, to be honest. This is if they don't, I'd happily try and take them on with just my sword. Quite a few, actually. Maybe we just open fire here. Um, well, that's awkward. Did he just... No, he's dead. I thought he somehow took that to the back and just survived it. I think we could take this guy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't know how he doesn't see me. Um, hello? What the hell? Am I that sneaky? Well, apparently so. I'm a ninja. Now, we've got an empty wooden crate here. Annoyingly, we're not going to have to loot that dude. Definitely loot this guy, though. Just has a blade on him, unfortunately. Another pirate room, though, with a floating boat travel map. This map has several markers and mentions of scavengers called the Captain, who occasionally traveled from the hut to other locations on the coast with a monetized rowboat. The captain hasn't been seen for a few months by now, but maybe his boat still can be found in the hat or a spectacle island. Map updated, eh? I'm guessing that is this area here.
definitely interested in trying these things out later on. We also have a fireplace that we can unlock for some reason. What the hell would be in a fireplace? That's it. Just fire, apparently. Cool. We do have a cigar box and some cigarettes. How much weight do we have available right now? Nothing, annoyingly. So we probably can't really pick much else up. Now, what is our route looking like? There's a guy there. There's a guy there. Can't see anyone on this next boat across. So let's jump there. Even though I would have liked to have done this in the day, this has somehow worked out perfectly for us. It being nighttime. I feel like an assassin, honestly. I'm going to try and get across here. One in that tower, one over there. Oh god, I think they may know. It okay, one's down. The best thing about this rifle, by the way, is one shot anywhere and they are dead. As long as we don't miss, which is not guaranteed apparently, should be okay. What the hell is going on over there? Is that a tank? I'm going to creep up these stairs, hopefully. Another one down. Still being searched for. Let's reload our gun. Only got one in the chip. Oh! Shh. Oh god, that could have gone a lot better. Oh Jesus, she is as bad at shooting as me apparently. How did she miss? I think all is good right now. Any more loot for us? A flare again. I don't really know what flares are going to be useful. A missile times five. Are you serious? Oh, if only we could carry a missile launcher with us. We really need to sort the power armor out. God damn it. Is there anyone else near? Let's go see if we can loot the body of this dude over here. He had some dollar bills on him, plasma cartridge, and a plasma thrower. Ah, oh, this thing would be so good, you know. Can we... You know what? I think I'm going to make an executive decision right this second. I'm going to go over and drop, unfortunately, this improvised laser rifle. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Store this laser rifle. Store the pull cube that I picked up, apparently. Store all this junk that we're not necessarily going to be using on him. I might, even though they are worth a bit, I think we'll just store all this stuff as well. I think we should use the plasma rifle. It could be absolutely clutch, especially against that absolutely terrifying demon up there. Anything else useful in this... Little shack. Nearly fell out the window. No ammo in here, annoyingly. Now, we probably should equip one of the grenades, to be honest. I'm also going to favorite this. Tactical plasma thrower. This thing could be so fun to use. We actually have some more plasma rounds back in downtown as well. I'm going to continue trying to get past the Eye of Sauron, it looks like, over there. Without getting stuck on the ship, apparently. Now, how do we... Okay, we're going down this way. There's a guy there. Now, I'm going to continue pushing forward. Let's get our sniper rifle back out. I don't want to be wasting plasma rounds on normal civilians. Does he... Oh, screw it. I was going to say, does he have a gun and maybe hand-to-hand -hand combat, but never take the risk. Oh, uh, hello. 
Good night. Nothing that useful on these guys. Can we maybe get in this room here? A bit pointless. Oh god, it looks like there's a turret there that doesn't see us. Maybe sneak past it? I'm gonna try. Oh, this is stupid if it shoots me in the back. It has got its back turned to me, though, so... Okay. 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 Oh, we're getting closer to you. Okay, let's keep pressing forward. We have how many shots left? 13 shots. God. Why is there so many dead people here? Take the gumdrop to my child back at the base, even though it's kind of pointless. We have another turret there. We're not going to be able to avoid that one, are we? This place is bloody massive, by the way. I do remember it from the game, but yeah. How many different ships and dead bodies are there? Holy crap. Now, I think we're just going to have to lay a bit of fire into this, you know. Only wasted two bullets, but two bullets that could have killed two more people. If there even are any people left. So many dead survivors that are just nothing on them. This is absolutely horrific. I can't tell if they've been killed by the robot, if they've been killed by the turret, or... Or has this gang just decided to murder a load of people? We also have a code here. 4037. Now, am I just overthinking that? Or is that never there before? And is that for something else? I guess we will find out. Well, let's continue on this gauntlet of the pirate ship. Getting ever closer to the Assaultron up there. I've not heard anyone in a very long time, you know. Maybe there isn't anyone left. I also do not want to just guess that. Is there anything in this building, potentially? Some more ammo, please? Nope. More empty ammo boxes, obviously. What can I see? Well... But I was definitely wrong about the enemy front. There's two creepy-ass people just chilling in that window, apparently. Let's continue. Now, I'm assuming this is going to take us over. Oh, God. Are we really doing this, guys? Well, I mean, screw it, I guess. Here we go. Now... I'm not going to shoot just yet. And maybe hide. I don't know how they're not aware. Oh, God. Well. Oh, that was horrendous. Right. Oh, God. Crap. Well, I guess we're getting the plasma rifle out. No, we're still definitely being searched for. And I'm assuming it's by that creepy robot. Okay, let's just double check what we've got here. A mine, grenade. I mean, mines would be good, but blast mines aren't really it. We do have this nuka grenade that honestly could be the lifesaver. Stun grenade, probably not going to do anything. And toxic cocktail, obviously not against the robot. I think what I'll do is keep the frag grenade. I'm going to back up just in case things get a little bit hairy. Where is the button? Just in case. Did I just hear? It looks like we're undetected. Okay, this is what we're doing, I guess. US Army Remnant. What the hell? 
that isn't an assault um yeah um blow up please oh my god um well we're not gonna be able to use that but we're still being searched for by the assaultron were they not on the same team? Soltron class combat robot to unknown interloper. Reveal yourself immediately. Uh, no, thank you. Let's get this nuka grenade out and hopefully it saves us. Okay, I'm doing this. I have faith. I have faith. We know it's on the top floor. Can we loot anything around here? What an amazing base this would be, by the way, if we cleared this out. Oh, God. I guess we're just doing this then, right? Anything in here? If I can just get some bearings on where he's at, it would help. I have a lot of places to sleep actually this is an amazing base like actually 10 out of 10 i think if we do a settlement run i've changed my mind maybe we live here and a very nice fireplace as well that makes it extra extra comfy but more important matters where is this bloody assaultron now we're still undetected but we need to find out where this thing is searching for us it's not left it's not right um hey crap oh my god that was too close now we are slowly losing our found meter which means he doesn't somehow remember where we are but how do we get upstairs it may be it may be left it may be a balcony uh, wait what i can hear people Are they friends? Are they not friends? Feel like I can hear footsteps. Oh god, are we about to be sandwiched between two things? <gasps> that guy had a rocket launcher! What is going on? What is bloody going on? Oh my god. Well, first and foremost... Stimpak, please. I don't even know if there's any more, but what the hell? These guys are fully combated armor up, by the way. Now, I don't know if we are found by the robot or not, but... This guy had a bloody lot. Of missile slash missile launchers here. I think we might have figured a way out how to blow up this bloody robot. Now, I don't think we waste any time here. I think we just take some buff tats. Pick up the missile launcher. Pick up the missiles. If this actually works, you're going to hear a grown man scream very quickly. I'm just going to do this. Holy crap! It worked! What the hell? Thank you, Missile Launcher Man. Now, before we do anything else, we are still found, apparently. I'm definitely going to be placing back this bloody Missile Launcher. And all these missiles back on you, sir. Thank you for your service. We somehow just killed an Assaultron. Now, let's finish this place up. We only have three bullets left, unfortunately. But, hopefully, there's not too many left. Blood pack. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. What is that? Another robot. Are you serious? Right. Well, I'm going to camp the door. 
thought it might be more people, but no, apparently there's a lot of bloody robots. There's a safe here. Got it. Another bobby pin, which I definitely will not be saying no to, and some more Radex. But is this robot going to be hard to kill or not? Before we do go outside, let's just check. Nothing else in here. Nothing else out there. Just the dead Assaultron. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to try this. Where did it go? Oh my god. One shot left. Oh, thank god that thing does no bloody damage. I think we may have done it, you know. I'm gonna heal very quickly. Bandage, a blood pack, please. We have no ammo left. Just so many dead people here. Clearly they were not on the same side at all, the robots. I thought... They might have actually worked together, but apparently not. Now, ideally, I would like to loot this assault on, please. Can we go back down and get to it somehow? There was a door here, apparently. Fusion cells. Nice. I mean, apart from that. And a US cover operations manual. Permanently... More difficult to detect white sneaking. That is the best thing I have ever seen. And so are you, my friend. Now, let's see if there's anything else to loot upstairs. There was a door here. To the captain's quarters. Surely nothing else is going to be in here, right? We're undetected. Um, what is going on I, I can't see um what is happening um I think we're okay let's just pretend that didn't happen i guess oh god we're not alone what burn okay right really i don't have an arm apparently this is so hard to aim Oh my god, I think we did it. Recon access bunker code. I read that in the wrong order, by the way, but I'll take it. Operations log, more ammo. What is going on in this place? Stimpak time, I think. Order form as well. Troy Bishop's journal. We also have another survivor here and a terminal here as well. There's always tyrants. I remember sitting at a broken card table all those years ago, repeating the words as if the basement was on the floor of the Roman Senate. We thought we could make a difference, free ourselves from the bonds of the tyranny. But what do we have to show for it? I'm a goddamn smuggler and everyone else at the table is dead now. I know my part. Nearly there. Found some good people, brought them to liberty, plenty of rations, weapons. This place is really starting to come together. Even got them old uniforms from Bishop Returns. I'll tell them they were part of the crew. It's not like they knew them well enough to tell the difference. Then we finish this. Um. Yeah, I don't think anyone's coming to read that message, my good friend. Now, we've got this access key, but for what exactly? Also, my guy is all over the bloody place right now. He has no sense of direction. Thanks to a certain someone shooting my arm off. 
But I think this is where I'm going to end today's episode. If you've enjoyed this one, smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the content. I honestly don't know how we just got through all that, but we finally managed to visit the pirate ship that I wanted to see. And bloody hell was it worth it. Now, if I have missed anything on this ship, get in the comments down below. Let me know all the tips and tricks. You guys on every video have been absolutely smashing it, and I appreciate you all so much. But once again, I do appreciate you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.